We were the first to report on our website today that a tentative deal to end a lawsuit filed by the company controlling those cameras has been reached. City Council has yet to approve it, but if they do, the city would have to pay out millions for ending a program voters were overwhelmingly against. Eyewitness News reporter Damon Fernandez has reaction to that tentative deal tonight. He joins us live from downtown. Damon. Well, Della, I got my hands on a copy of that settlement agreement between the city of Houston and American Traffic Solutions. Now, drivers we talked to tonight say they hope this means that both sides can quickly put an end to this red light camera controversy. Red light cameras, they've been the controversial topic at the center of a big legal battle between the city of Houston and American Traffic Solutions for months until now. We've gone through two mediations. Uh, we've had a lot of dialogue with the city. And at this point in time, we believe we've reached an agreement. ATS General Counsel and Corporate Secretary George Hittner spoke with 13 Eyewitness News about the details in the new settlement agreement. A compromise, Hittner told me, that's taken all sides weeks to iron out. The city of Houston will pay ATS $4.8 million, some of that immediately, some of that over the course of time. ATS was seeking $25 million from the city for breach of contract after the red light cameras were turned off, then on again, and shut down permanently by council vote back in August. Under the agreement, the city will pay ATS $2.3 million up front. It will also pay out $2.4 million to the red light camera company over the next three years for money it could have received collecting fines. As for ATS, it's agreed to have its red light cameras removed from Houston's right of ways 60 days after the settlement agreement is signed by city council. I think it's in the interest of both sides to put this matter behind them and, and let's move on. Now we've learned city council members are expected to discuss this compromise and settlement agreement on Tuesday and Wednesday. Of course, you can count on us to bring you the latest developments. Downtown tonight, DeMond Fernandez, 13 Eyewitness News.